What's up guys, welcome back to Angel in the Outfield. We are on episode number 18. We're almost up to 20 episodes in the series already. I feel like it's flying by, it's really fun. So thank you guys for continuing to show love on the videos, I appreciate it a lot. In the last video, we finished with three upgrades to the squad. Mike Trout did hit a home run, the team played well, we won in a very convincing fashion. So it was a very, very solid game all around, we did good. So we finished with three upgrades, but let's go ahead and take a look at the like goal from the last video which was set at 3800 and unfortunately once again we did not hit the like goal so we are staying at three upgrades and that means the like goal for this video once again will be at 3800 so hit the thumbs up button if you would like to try to get another upgrade for angel in the outfield in the next video 3800 is the goal but you guys left a ton of comments you guys are still very very active in the comments section on these videos so i really appreciate that so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the top comments and see which cards we're going to be upgrading to. Top comment came from D Gower3434. He said 95 Johnny Bench, 96 Pete Alonzo, 86 Roberto Osuna, and for the like gold, 93 Eddie Matthews. Sharpshooter307 said 96 Pete Alonzo, 95 Chapman, 95 Bench, and the like gold, 92 Batansis. I assume he means the 94 Batansis, the flashback one. Last but not least, we've got Arthur Soto who says 92 Bautista, 94 Batansis, 92 Rob Nen, and for the like gold, 95 Giambi. So so the first guy we are going to upgrade to is this flashback Dylan Betances. You guys really wanted to see him. His 2014 rookie card. Uh, four seam, a slurve, and a two seam. So he only has three pitches, so he's not going to be um, like the best reliever in the game. It'd be nice. Dude, if he had a changeup, he would be ridiculously good. But then he'd basically just be Gossage without a sinker um, but he's got 115 hits in case per nine uh, 69 walks per nine 79 control 99 velo and break so like at the end of the day if you can control this Dylan Batances card with that slurve and that really really uh, fast fastball you should be able to get some batters fooled and you should be able to get some guys out so he's in the bullpen next up we're doing our catcher upgrade 95 Johnny Bench I really, really was surprised you guys wanted to see this card. I didn't think people really liked this card. I don't think this card is all that bad. I mean, I think the signature Johnny Bench is the best card in the 8th inning program, personally. But this 95 Johnny Bench is really, really good. Good power for a catcher, 84, 110. He's got great defense, 94 fielding, 94 arm strength. So he should be able to gun down pretty much any runner that tries to go on him. And if there ever is a point in the game where we need to make defensive replacements, he can play a ton of different positions. Positions. He's not a one-trick pony, so good upgrade. And last but not least, 96 home run derby Pete Alonzo, the most powerful card in MLB The Show 19. 125 power against both sides. I love this card, dude. Whenever you get this card in Battle Royale, you can pretty much guarantee yourself a home run. Like, I'm hitting 429 with a 1500 uh, OPS, and I'm pretty sure that's all in online play. So, I love Pete Alonzo. He's a great pick for first base. He is is gonna be very very nice on the squad so good stuff so this is what the team is looking like Justin Smoke went to the bench since Pete Alonzo is gonna be playing first also Gary Sanchez went to the bench uh, to make room for Johnny Bench so we only have three more golds in the lineup uh, Suarez Turner and Gordon so we just got to finish out the left side and the middle infield um, so let's go ahead and work on that and then for the pitching the only diamond we've got so far is Dellen Batances we did have Gossage but then we got a downgrade so we had to get rid of them so we still got six relievers and five starters to go through um, so there's still quite a ways away before we get to the actual signature series portion of the team it's time to take a look at the stats uh, remember these are in the top link of the description if you want to look for yourself and these are updated the day after the video goes live to avoid spoilers so let's go ahead and take a look at what the team is looking like as far as the stats right now Mike Trout hitting 172 with a 300 on base pretty much the same as he was going into the last video he got his average up barely but then his on base went down so, you know, that home run was nice, but, you know, still he's only got 10 hits and 58 at-bats. I would like to see a little bit more production out of him. We're still going to keep him at the 8 spot, but, you know, hopefully he can start picking it up a little bit more. Justin Smoke, it's sad to say goodbye to him. He was our best hitter throughout this gold phase next to that gold Joey Gallo. He had a 406 average with a 1,000 slugging and a 1,400 OPS. Six home runs and 13, uh, or sorry, six out of his 13 hits were home runs. That's what I meant to say. And Gary Sanchez, he 
he is now on the bench, but he was leading the team with a 471 on base percentage. So hopefully the new diamonds that we picked up can continue the offensive production that these guys had. All right, well, I think we've done enough talking here for the intro of this video. Mike Trout shouldn't have any more inside edge to deal with since he is not on a postseason team. And that's, you know, there's no more inside edge that goes out to non postseason teams. So Mike Trout, he will be at 96 for the remainder of the year until the signature comes out and then we can find a way to upgrade to him. But that's for a later day. Let's go ahead and win this game. Okay, we're taking on the Dodgers. I really hope I land on somebody other than Perez or Mats. I got AJ Burnett. All right, this is my first time using him on Angel in the Outfield. We got to face Mad Bum, and he's pretty much got the all signature team lineup with Wagner in there at the two spot. So we got our work cut out for us. Wow, I don't know how I got that to be a hit. I really don't. That was a high fastball. I, it was a 2-2 count. I don't know how I kept that straight. I thought I was going to pop that up 100%. Oh, come on. Oh, is that Rogers Hornsby out there making an error at second base? That's a big yikes. Oh, my God. Are we just trying to hit into double plays right now? I, I should have hit into a double play or at least got the force out at second on the last at bat, and then Pete Alonso hits it to shortstop. Ball four. He didn't want to pitch to Gallo. Can you really blame him with how good Gallo is in this game? Suarez, that's a three-run bomb. He hung a breaking pitch on an 0-2 count, and Suarez was sitting on it. If he would have thrown me a fastball, I probably would have struck out. Let's go. Oh, that's a dot. That's a dot. Good pitch right there, man. All right, three runs on the top of the first. I'll take that. Here we go. Throwing a fastball to Tony Gwynn, and he hit it hard right to Trout. Bad pitch. Got bailed out. That was a sinker right in primetime hitting location for Wagner. We got a ground ball out of it. I don't know how. And there we go. One, two, three inning for Burnett. So we get three runs. Pitcher throws a zero. Good start to the game. So we've got Johnny Bench getting his first at bat here in the second. Mike Trout is on deck. I normally hit Bumgarner pretty well. And I say normally just because every now and then, you know, he'll like get me a little bit. But... Normally, Bumgarner, I find relatively simple to hit. The fastball isn't that tough to judge, and then the breaking pitches, you know, if you just wait back, you can square it up a lot. So, I like my chances right now. Johnny Bench, boom! Like I said, I like my chances. Johnny Bench goes yard in his first at-bat, and now we've set up Mike Trout with nobody on and nobody out. Mike Trout, maybe? Maybe? Come on, don't go foul on me. Oh my god, he just missed a home run. It's an 0-2 count as well. Got to fight. There we go, good take. All right, come on, Mike. You got a 1-2 count. You're still back against the wall right now. That was a hanger. And it's going to be a warning track shot. Good, good, 100 miles per hour, and we have an out with Mike Trout. I don't know, man. Like, that's one of the things with Trout. A lot of people are always like, oh, Coops, you can't hit with Trout and Angel in the outfield. I have had some terrible at-bats, 100%. But I have had a lot of line-outs and warning track shots and stuff like that. Good goods that don't go anywhere. So, he's, you know, if you look at percentage of hard-hit balls, I guarantee you Mike Trout is hitting a lot better than what his stats show. There we go. We're going to get another fly out. That one's more of a line out, but he was kind of jammed on it. Lou Gehrig has a lot of strength, though. Another fly ball out. AJ Burnett's pitching to contact. And that is going to be another 1 2 3 inning. Six up, six down for AJ Burnett. Really playing well. Woo! Big meat Pete! That's going to be a one-out double here in the third. This dude always finds a gap. Whether it's over the fence or not, he doesn't get out. Ball four. Another walk for Gallo. So he's getting on base. In two walks. He's a scary guy to face. I, once again, I, I don't blame him. Suarez hit a three-run home run earlier, though. This guy's not much better to face. Suarez, that's going to find the gap as well. Suarez is going to drive in at least one with that swing. We're going to keep it at one. We're going to get back to second and third, and we have a 5-0 lead. 
Oh my god, why did I swing at that? Ah, kind of sucks. At least I got another run. It's now 6-0. to zero. We're one away from an upgrade. Johnny Bench, is he going yard again? Does Johnny Bench have two home runs in his first... I, I, I can't even speak. I'm speechless. He's going to intentionally walk Mike Trout. So, okay. Mike Trout gets on base. We've got a hitless downgrade now that's gone, so we're good. So right now we have one upgrade since we scored seven or more runs. That's what we're looking like right now. AJ Burnett keeps the inning going. Yes, sir. Trey Turner. It's 11 to nothing in the third. Am I going to get another mercy rule today? Dude, I got to get out of all-star difficulty. This should be the last game I have on all-star, at least from my side of things, because now I'm going to get... After this game, I should get into the 700s, and yeah, this guy's gone. Wow. So now I'm at a 728 rating, so that should be my last game on all-star. But wow, that was a quick one, huh? All right, well, I believe that is going to give us two upgrades, because... Um, we won the game and we scored seven or more runs, obviously. Uh, Mike Trout went 0 for 1 with a walk, so, I mean, he couldn't really do anything other than that. Um, I don't think, I'm pretty sure Rage Quit is not an upgrade. I'm pretty sure I said that wasn't going to be a thing. And I'm not going to do upgrades for Mercy Rules or anything like that, um, even though this technically doesn't count as a Mercy Rule, it's more of a Rage Quit. Um... I don't really want to do that too much. If I win the game, I'm just going to keep that as a solo upgrade. So it looks like we have two upgrades and then a third if we hit the like goal. I know it was a really, really short video, but for Angel in the Outfield, unfortunately, I have to uh, do one episode at a time so you guys can upgrade the team for the next game. That's just kind of the way the series works. So unfortunately, it was a little bit short. But anyway, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments which guys I should upgrade. Remember, we still have all three of these infielders we got to upgrade as well as six relievers and five starting pitcher arms so just tell me down in the comments who you guys want me to upgrade i'm pretty sure i'm only sitting at two i i don't think i have any other like rogue upgrades that i don't or I can't think of, so I don't know, but yeah. So down in the comments, let me know who you think we should upgrade to. Drop a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it. If we get to 3,800, that'll give us a third upgrade for the next video. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with Angel in the Outfield, as well as all the other MLB The Show videos coming out. Uh, Ted Williams' debut will be out a little bit later today. Also, one last thing, if you want to buy some merch, if you use the code POSTSEASON at checkout, you will save 20% off your merch order. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a good day. Sorry I was a little bit short, but Angel in the Outfield's Angel in the Outfield. See you guys later. Peace.